it's Teach from SeriousGas.com, and today with Serious Gas Relief from someone else that found a piece of gear that gave them sweet relief from gear acquisition syndrome. Today, it's in the laboratory with Sean Barrett, my man! He's gonna talk to us about his beautiful Ignator amp. Tell us, what is the deal with this beauty, man? Well, it's an extinct amplifier. <laughs> it's a TOL 50 which uh, they don't make it anymore. How right? old is it? Oh, at least 25. Wow. Um, How many gigs are you using, sir? Probably, I don't know, 1,000. Well, tell me what you like about the amp. What sets it apart? Well, I would say it's diversity in the two channels. Channel one, which is a rich, warm, very uh, Fender Twin Reverb. And we have a Marshall for channel two. Come on. Oh, yeah. And he only survived half of his life with his original skins because he was set on fire. <laughs> you help? Your amp was set on fire. Okay, you got a dish. All right. What happened? So, all right, so I'm at a gig and I'm playing and the amp's like an inferno because I, I like to run it on 10. I'm just that sort of. I, we kind share of that guy. tendency. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, but anyway, waitress came up, put a drink down. No! Yes, on my amp. Oh! And it was for the drummer. It wasn't even for me, it was Jägermeister. Oh! I know. Oh, yeah. The Jaeger in the Amstar. It just set on, it set itself on fire. It is tragedy, y'all. It was. I was heartbroken. I had to literally rebuild it. And one would ask, why would I even bother doing that when I could pretty much get anything that I want? You had serious gas for the old tone of this beauty. Is that yeah, what I'm hearing? That's correct. No, that's serious gas. Is it stock, or have you had any mods put on it? I did have a mod. Uh, put in this. Uh, I would say the most significant thing is Bruce's Mega Drive that he put in there, and that yeah, deals with the uh, power amp section. Okay. Does that really make it make it pop during the solo? Uh, more headroom. Super sweet. This is just more versatile, I would say, overall, because that a Marshall. in one teeny little amp, I have a Marshall and a Fender. So have you played uh, different genres with this amp? Yeah, everything from country to metal. Awesome. All right, well, as you know, when you have a great amp, you want to hear what it sounds like, and Sean Barrett dispenses passion musically to leave us in awe and incredulity. And that's what's going to happen, people, right now. Sean Barrett, give it up! I'm going to bring it. Let's do it. Let's fire it up. Sean, that was awesome. As usual, you are the string wizard. The man's got the licks. Thank you, brother. But hey, I've got one last question. Shoot. You've just been offered your first gig underwater. Yes, that's right. They're going to fly you to the Caribbean at 28,000 feet under the ocean in the Puerto Rico Trench. You are going to have your first concert there. You go down, you see with your gear a geodesic dome where there's a massive concert stage, lights flashing. All the major networks are there to capture this premiere underwater event. But wait, as you make your way in with your igniter and your axis, you notice there in the middle of the stage doing a sound check while the whales are passing overhead, Sean is one of your favorite artists. It's... I have to say Steve Vai. It's Steve Vai! He turns to you. He actually recognizes you. He says, Sean Barrett, right? Oh, You've got that crazy, like, 30-year-old Igniter amp that rocks. Wow, that's it right there. And then he says to you, Sean, or I'll tell you what, I'll trade you my amp for that one right here, right now. What do you do? 
Nope. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, I'm, I, I'm hanging on. I knew it would be a decline. Yes, when yeah. you've got as much history as he's gotten in this with the flames yeah. of Frankenstein uh, story, yeah, I would probably. Even though it's Steve Vai, you know, a, a hero of mine. Now, Total respect. This, Total respect. This one ain't going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, this has been another episode of Serious Gas Relief. Today, starring Sean Barrett in the laboratory where he works his magic and playing through the Ignator TOL50, the vintage sweet amp. Kind of wish I had one now. You can see more episodes coming up in all kinds of audio playgrounds where we do more miracle healings in the future, so stay tuned. But for now, if you like it, go buy it and inflate your gear love with the rest of us over at SeriousGas.com. But for now, this is Teach. I'm Sean. And we're saying, go make sounds!